a te a tutti ciurma e benvenuti da giocherini in questo nuovissimo episodio su The Walking Dead Vi ricordo grazie al vostro sostegno con like assolutamente fondamentale affinché la serie possa proseguire Per cui se volete il prossimo episodio vediamo di riuscire a raggiungere almeno i 30 like ragazzi So che ce la possiamo fare, ve ne chiedo veramente pochissimo e per voi è soltanto questione di un secondo Per cui mi raccomando spolliciate Ed eccoci qua di ritorno signore e signori dopo che la volta scorsa dopo varie peripezie Alla fine siamo riusciti a fuggire tutti quanti, più o meno tutti quanti, dalla farmacia Abbiamo purtroppo dovuto assistere ad un paio di situazioni alquanto spiacevoli e tristi direi perché nel motel non abbiamo potuto salvare la ragazza che era rinchiusa in camera in quanto purtroppo era stata morsa quindi abbiamo dovuto prendere la difficile decisione di darle o non darle la pistola. Io alla fine ho deciso di dargliela pensando ovviamente quanto più possibile al lato umano della questione per quanto comunque non sia facile prendere certe decisioni e tra l'altro lì ha dovuto purtroppo rivedere suo fratello ormai trasformato in zombie e ha dovuto decidere alla fine di ucciderlo e anche quella è stata una scena veramente triste per potergli prendere le chiavi infatti grazie a quelle chiavi alla fine siamo riusciti a entrare nella zona dei farmaci ma abbiamo avuto veramente pochissimo tempo perché abbiamo dovuto alla fine scappare e quindi eccoci qua l'ultima volta ci eravamo salutati prima di vedere questa cazzina Ok, siamo arrivati al motel, quindi. Oh, man, Clementine! That was so awesome! Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then this one time, Derek and Supergirl showed up in the city of Atlanta. Did you check the glove box? Yes, but Derek had an underwater mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-mega-m
Lo adoro troppo, ragazzi, lo adoro troppo. Ci ha salvato la pelle, perché se non fosse stato per lui saremmo morti dentro quella farmacia, ragazzi. Quindi vediamo un attimino adesso... Cioè, dovremmo organizzarci in qualche modo, magari esplorare il motel, vedere cosa c'è dentro le stanze se ci può essere qualcosa di utile quindi abbiamo deciso la volta scorsa di salvare Carly perché comunque sa sparare ha una buona mira sapete ragazzi come stai doing Carly? sono ok you know considering lo do yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug we couldn't have saved him could we? I don't think so it happened pretty fast I know it's stupid we just met and he was such a it's just that Sicuramente anche tu gli piacevi. You better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Ok. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Volevo aiutarvi entrambi. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Quella è la prima domanda che sorge, ragazzi. Come hai fatto a scegliere? Cioè, solitamente, poi tra l'altro in quelle stazioni di emergenza non hai neanche tanto il tempo di stare lì a riflettere, a pensare, quindi istintivamente fai la prima cosa che ti viene in mente. Però purtroppo le scelte hanno sempre delle conseguenze, ragazzi. Brutte o belle che siano. Vedo Clem abbastanza sconvolta, ragazzi. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. Ciao caro. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. Ciao. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. Um, I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, me dispiace. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oddio, mo mi vuole parlare questo? Oh man, Clementine! Mo mi vuole parlare? Di che cosa dovremmo parlare, caro? You like my daughter? Scusa? Eh, non direi. Not really. Good, stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. E lui come diavolo lo sa? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Ah, ok, qualcuno lo se lo ricorda allora. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. Okay. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Better. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Vorrei sperar. Ma porca vacca miseria. Kenny, non parlare più, non dire più, non dire più. Ok, qua inizia, quindi finiva il primo capitolo e inizia il secondo. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. 
I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take you on! There's too many of them! Ok, qua ci anticipano più o meno cose che accadranno nel capitolo 2 che si chiama In cerca di aiuto. Che dire ragazzi, allora, mi sa che il primo capitolo è stata veramente soltanto una leggerissima introduzione perché credo di avere l'impressione che dal secondo capitolo in avanti le cose cominceranno a farsi veramente più pesanti, proprio dal punto di vista psicologico intendo. Incontreremo nuove persone, a quanto pare andremo incontro alla fame, cosa che purtroppo succede in situazioni del genere, ipotetiche ovviamente. Quindi allora, vediamo un attimino ragazzi per quanto riguarda le scelte che ho fatto nel primo capitolo quindi io e il 54% dei giocatori abbiamo detto la verità ad Herschel e forse mh, per il fatto che ci stessimo dirigendo in auto una roba del genere ma io quello che mi sto ancora chiedendo ragazzi come fa quel tizio a sapere che lì è un assassino? Come lo sa? What the fuck? Grosso punto interrogativo. Quindi fra Duck e Sean ragazzi io il 52% abbiamo scelto Duck. Quindi la maggioranza ma di poco. Dalla parte di Kenny io il 54% dei giocatori abbiamo difeso Kenny. Hai dato a Irene la pistola. In questo caso io il 47% dei giocatori gli abbiamo dato la pistola. Quindi rientriamo nella minoranza. La maggioranza dei giocatori ha deciso di non dargliela. Per quanto riguarda la scelta fra Duck o oh. Carly, io e il 49% abbiamo scelto Carly. Sono abbastanza sbigottita da questa cosa perché pensavo, insomma, di rientrare nella maggioranza anche in questo caso, visto che Carly è una donna, eccetera, eccetera. Invece il, la maggioranza dei giocatori ha deciso di salvare Doug. Quindi andiamo avanti. Ci sono i titoli di coda, evidentemente anche per ogni singolo capitolo, perché io credo, ragazzi, quando è stato inizialmente, appunto, pubblicato questo gioco, è stato pubblicato ad episodi, tra l'altro, come una vera e propria serie tv. Quindi ti facevano vedere le anticipazioni, se ti incuriosivi e ti intrigava, avresti giocato poi il secondo episodio, più avanti. Quindi rientriamo nel menu principale e incominciamo il secondo episodio, che si intitola, appunto, In cerca di aiuto. Sono comunque molto curiosa di vedere come procedono le cose. Ok, qua ci fanno una sorta di riassunto del, del primo capitolo. Io ovviamente, ragazzi, il riassunto l'ho saltato perché mi sembrava un pochettino inutile. Quindi le scelte che facciamo sono importanti. La trama è plasmata dal nostro modo di giocare. E questo già ci era chiaro. Ed eccoci qua, ragazzi. Tre mesi dopo, signore e signori. Cioè, un lasso di tempo non tanto breve, eh. Comunque sono tre mesi, quindi facciamo fuori sto zombie. Up. Damn. E questo chi è? What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ecco, eh, ovviamente well, noi non potremo toccarlo. Ma chi è questo I still can't tizio? believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, okay. you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. 
dovrei chiederlo a Lily. Ok, maybe lentamente. Ma mi immaginavo se lo occupasse lei. Lui è solo preoccupato di suo figlio che non è enough. Non mi preoccupo di Clementine, anche. Pensi che Kenny ha più di più luck che siamo qui? Sì, mi spero. Sì, tra la mancanza di food e Kenny e Lily fighting tutto il tempo. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny non ci abbandonerà. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. No, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in mm -hmm. particular. Davvero si nota così tanto? Sta solo basta bada sì, bastando, <ride> badando a sua figlia. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Già. E chi se lo scorda? Se ho capito bene, questo tizio mi sa che era chiuso da qualche parte nel motel. Se ho capito bene. Uh, non rischiare tutto quel rumore. Oddio, che è mo? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oddio, raga. Allora, la situazione è una cacca, ragazzi. Nel gruppo si sono create tensioni anche dovute alla fame. Oh, chi è? Che succede? Questi mo che sono? Oddio, una trappola. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Sì, però non Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the uh, fuck is there a non mi bear trap del male. Here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, see, shut okay, up. okay. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay, okay. Uh, ci proveremo. Gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oddio, no. Oddio, e adesso? Oh no. Oddio, non mi di... Oddio, no, 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 no. Oddio, l'unica cosa da fare. No, gli deve... Oddio, gli deve tagliare la gamba. Ha detto che non c'è una leva di rilascio. Come on, do something! Do something. Niente, oh, niente, God. niente, Please serve, serve l'accetta, serve l'accetta. Ci proviamo, ci proviamo, caro, ci proviamo. Oddio, oh, sa che, Jesus, che non, ser non servirà. Oddio che ansia. Niente. Non credo ci siano altre alternative, ragazzi. Non c'è un'altra, non c'è altro da fare. No, mi dispiace, mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. Dio! Lo so, lo so. Oddio! Oddio! Mamma mia, mamma mia, raga. Il primissimo piano, grazie, eh. Oh, God. Shit. 
he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Mamma mia. <laughs> Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ah! Oddio, muoviti, no? Corri! Ecco un po'. No! Mamma mia. Secondo capitolo inizia proprio... Boom! Dio santissimo. Ok, quindi hanno fatto ovviamente dei lavori per cercare di rafforzare con quei confini del motel. Mi pare ovvio. Quindi ha preso lei più o meno il comando, mi sembra di capire. Forse assieme a Kenny è per questo che si scontrano. Chi è? Chi sarà mai? Clem, è ferma un attimo. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on! Si incacchiano ancora di più perché abbiamo portato pure queste altre persone. What happened? What the hell are they doing? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! Oh. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. Uh. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking uh, minute? No, uh, I don't. Morto, no? I want to know why you thought bringing uh. more mouths to feed was a good idea. Uh, he would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost oh, okay. gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come yeah, on, yeah, you're yeah, being yeah, dramatic. Yeah. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough non to go around. Now that it's però, running out, eh? suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Nick. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <sighs> you think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Fantastico. Hai solo quattro porzioni di cibo per dieci persone affamate. Mamma mia, mamma.
Beh, Lily non ha tutti i torti. È normale che tutti adesso un pochettino la guardino male, tra virgolette, perché è costretta a fare quello che è costretta a fare, no? Con il cibo. Che scelta ha? Non è facile, ragazzi, prendere posizioni in, uh, in queste situazioni. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sì, di che vi sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. E you come know, la chiudi? I'm starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Uh, silenzio. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Ok, uh, il problema quindi sarà decidere a chi dare queste razioni di cibo senza che gli altri mi odino. <ride> chi lo sa ragazzi, io penso che ovviamente le darò ai bambini in primis. Diamone una a Duck. How are you doing, Clementine? Ok. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Certo. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If e I poi, find it, I'll let you know. Che fine Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck eh. for a while? Infatti, okay. Okay, diamo la razione a Duck. Hey, Duck. I'm out of little food. Mezza mela, dai. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? Beh. <ride> no. Temo Probably proprio di no. Mm -hmm. uh, diamo qualcosa a Clem. Sono rimasti tre pezzi di legno. Come tre pezzi di legno? Forse intendeva di cibo. <ride> Certe traduzioni, ragazzi, sono fatte un po', eh? Un po' malino. Io veramente non so a chi darle, ragazzi. Non lo so. Proviamo a parlare con Lily. Vediamo che succede. Parliamo di te, Kenny. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. <sighs> Purtroppo o te, lo, o te lo trovi ragazzi o mori di fame. Eh? Parliamo con Kenny. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Uh, dovresti restare qui? We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Niente, non ne, vuole, non ne vuole sapere, ormai ha ormai deciso. Niente ragazzi, dovrò dare il cibo a Clem ovviamente. L'ho dato a Duck, lo darò anche a lei. Here, Clem. You need to eat. Pezzo di carne secca. Ma... Ok, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Sto ragazzo come sta? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no eh, other way. <laughs> che dovevo fa? Allora come stai? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure sì, hope so. sì. Andrà tutto bene, tutto meravigliosamente bene, vero? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Quanto è antipatico, ragazzi. Vabbè, l'ultima razione la darò a lui. Ha detto che è molto debole. Here. Eat something. The cracker, the last one. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us Prendete that thing for a bit. 
Magari se la chiedessi cortesemente... Non lo so. No, la do a Mark. Lui si comporta di merda, io lo tratto di merda. Eh, scusate. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Ma ti sta Come dando on, una mano. Mary. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Eh, è rimasta una sola porzione di cibo. No, non la tengo di certo oh, per me. Sì, 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 assolutamente. Non lo so, ragazzi, non lo so. Magari gli uomini resistono un pochettino di più rispetto alle donne. Non lo so, sinceramente. Eh, andiamo a Lily? Proviamo a fare un gesto di pace? Here. I don't want anything from you. E eh, va bene, non mangiare allora. Fine. Huh. Fa pure la tosta. Lo darò a Carly allora. Ma tu guarda Want un po'. Want qualcosa da mangiare? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Non l'ha voluto neanche lei. Oh, se mi dovete far girare le scatole me lo tengo io, eh? Lo do a Kenny, vediamo. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Sì, certo yeah, che gliel'ho dato. Something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Eh, hanno notato che hai dato da mangiare a Kenny, l'ho chiesto praticamente a tutti. Eh scusa, Larry si comporta male, Lily non ne vuole sapere. Eh, Carly non l'ha voluto, eh, che volete? That's such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. E questo ok. Cioè, siamo tutti hey, d'accordo. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Ecco qua. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't see you working on that wall. Lo sapevo io. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Lasciala andare. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not a problem anymore. What about the other kid? What the fuck? Mannaggia la miseria! Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Eh, eh, dai! Aiutami! Oddio! Ah! Mannaggia! Ma gli altri! Gli altri! Non me la date una mano! E su! Oddio! Ah. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. 
It's gonna happen to all of us. Siamo tutti infetti, quindi. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Non vogliamo guai. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, no we'd abbiamo. be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Ah. Lee, uh. why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay, uh, andiamo. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Okay, quindi ne avevamo di benzina. Vabbè, raga, quando senti stiamo morendo di fame, so, noi dairy, abbiamo cibo really in quantità. Food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. It's, it's nice there. to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Oh, dear. Io come leader. think they'd want me for leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry lo sa. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? stato un incidente? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes okay. I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Hey. Where are you from? Adesso casa mia è il motel. Questi sono non li conosco. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? È una democrazia. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Oh, ma quante cose volete sapere? Cambia argomento. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get eh? down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always oh, pulling this shit. And it's who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? Around. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I'll 
they move on. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Mamma mia. Ammazzato così a sangue freddo. E che... Non lo so ragazzi, allora... Mi ha appena salvato la partita. Questi qua, no? Che dicono... Vi vogliamo portare tutti alla nostra fattoria. Per quanto cibo possano avere, perché accollarsi così tanta gente? Non lo so. Mi puzzano. In effetti, ma... Mi puzzerebbero comunque a prescindere. Cioè io mi immagino proprio una situazione non reale. Eh, cioè... Se vivessi una situazione del genere mi puzzerebbero e non poco e lo direi anche agli altri, comunque in un mondo del genere ragazzi quanto si può stare sicuri a fidarsi degli sconosciuti? Credo mai abbastanza sicuri, già insomma nel mondo nostro diciamo fidarsi è bene, non fidarsi è meglio no? Figuriamoci in un mondo del genere, quindi non lo so, mi puzza, mi puzza veramente tutto. Come sempre aspetto i vostri pareri qua sotto in commento, questo video termina qui, grazie a tutti, un bacione. E ho a tutti ragazzi da Giocherina, ciao!